Uh, Madam Speaker, I rise to support this bill and congratulate uh, Senator Kajuang uh, because this bill uh, is coming at the right time, Mr. Uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, being or a little over 10 years now after the creation of uh, uh, um, the uh, creation of uh, the, our counties and um, passing of the, of the 2010 Constitution, Madam Speaker, I think this is the time it's actually overdue, Madam Speaker, for the review of county boundaries, uh, constituency boundaries, and even ward boundaries, Madam Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, as you know, there are even constituencies that are already threatened uh, in their existence, Madam Speaker, because the uh, time has lapsed, the grace period that they had, Madam Speaker, and uh, if we do not review, Madam Speaker, the people of those constituencies, around 27 or so constituencies, Madam Speaker, will be um, like not ex uh, will be threatened, Madam Speaker, uh, um, because the law then must either be reviewed uh, for those constituencies to continue existing mm -hmm. or, 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 um, or that, uh, you know, they are given a new lifeline, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this law in particular, Madam Speaker, comes also at the time that we have given devolution 10 years we have given, uh, you know, the creation, the, the, uh, the existing counties 10 years, Madam Speaker, to see how, uh, you know, uh, governing uh, the counties uh, our, at, a, at, at the lower levels will go on, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I remember when the counties were created, Madam Speaker, uh, no, before the 2010, uh, after the 2010 Constitution, Madam Speaker, a lot of... Uh, considerations were there. The premises that were considered, Madam Speaker, included uh, the population density, the demographics, community interests, Madam Speaker, um, historical, uh, historical and cultural ties, Madam Speaker. Um, a lot of those issues, Madam Speaker, were considered. Madam Speaker, it, it is actually that Kenya, uh, Kenyans generally are very peaceful people because boundary issues are very emotive, Madam Speaker. Kenyans have tried to live with, uh, uh, you know, with issues that this uh, bill would cure, Madam Speaker. But because of the patience of Kenyans, Madam Speaker, um, you know, we have seen a, f a, a, f a little eruption of uh, violence here and there, uh, disagreements here and there. But by and large, Madam Speaker, Kenyans have, uh, you know, become patient, waiting for both houses, the National Assembly and the Senate, Madam Speaker, to pass the necessary laws that will, uh, you know, cure issues of boundaries, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I also know, um, you know, IEBC is mandated on the issues of boundaries, Madam Speaker. Uh, I think, um, you know, wards and constituencies, Madam Speaker. But the issue of uh, bo uh, county boundaries needed some special attention. Madam Speaker, as has been mentioned, you know, by many members of this House, there are, uh, you know, uh, quite a number of counties that have disputes, Madam Speaker. Kajiado uh, is one of them, Madam Speaker. In, um, at the border of Kajiado and Makweni, Madam Speaker, we have a place called Oloirien, where uh, over 74,000 acres are in dispute, Madam Speaker, and the communities have been fighting. Sometimes uh, schools have been uh, uh, banned, including a school called Oldoinyo Sampu, Madam Speaker, and children had to vacate the school, Madam Speaker. Uh, people have lost lives, Madam Speaker. And these are the issues that we need to forestall uh, with, this, uh, with the passage of this bill, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, at the boundary of uh, Machakos and, and, and Kajiado, Madam Speaker, right here uh, at Mavoko, just very close to East Africa and Portland Cement, Madam Speaker. We have a communal land called Sheep and Goat, Madam Speaker. In this Sheep and Goat, Madam Speaker, the community that is living there, uh, some of us have our homes there. We belong to Kajiado County. The land actually belongs to Kajiado County. But we did, 
not understand how this um, um, whole uh, place ended up being in Machakos County, Madam Speaker. Yet the people, when you talk of cultural ties, have cultural ties in Kajado. It's the same community that is in Kajado that is at the Ship and Goat Land, Ms. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, these people vote Senator in Kajado. Senator Peris Tobiko. Yes. Note the change of the chair. Oh, I am so sorry, Mr. Speaker. I am extremely sorry. <laughs> I'm extremely sorry, Mr. Speaker. Sorry, I am sorry about that. Uh, I was concentrating on the issues that are very touchy and sensitive to the people of Kajiado, Mr. Speaker, um, that I did not even realize uh, the change of the chair, but I, I do acknowledge your presence, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, uh, also, uh, between Kajado and Kiampu, uh, Mr. Speaker, we have uh, a bit of turmoil, uh, Mr. Speaker. It has been managed so far, but this bill will come and cure all this, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I think it is time. This uh, bill will come and, and help us sort out issues. The mediation committee is very important, Mr. Speaker. Um, the creation of this uh, committee will help m uh, Mr. Speaker to maintain peace, to listen to the views of the people, uh, to consider m uh, you know, more current issues, m uh, Mr. Speaker, including uh, you know, the population um, the, uh, increase, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. As you realize, when the equalization was passed on this floor, there are counties that missed out. There are regions that missed out, Mr. Speaker. Yet they, they, they deserve. And uh, Mr. Speaker, because we have never considered the issue of one man running and uh, Mr. Speaker, you find this is like a like, we find population, population density to consideration of landmass. Kajiado County is bigger than Rwanda, the country, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, with all the infrastructural challenges and um, uh, giving services to the people, Mr. Speaker, I think it is time that um, uh, boundaries or counties are, are reviewed, Mr. Speaker, that a committee will handle these issues, Mr. Speaker, because we will not want to create uh, tension and problems between Kenyans, Mr. Speaker, but yet, Mr. Speaker, we want to solve, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, issues that have been at the boundaries of various counties, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to support and Mr. Speaker very strongly, very strongly say that communal ties must be considered, Mr. Speaker, and historical uh, boundaries must be considered also, Mr. Speaker. Because since time, in, uh, from the, the time of the colonialists, Mr. Speaker, the boundary between Machakos County and Kajado is the old railway line, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, at Oloirien, our people can identify, including the beacons, you know, of where Kajado County reach. And we have documentation to support that, Mr. Speaker. But today, Mr. Speaker, that part is considered Makweni. I, I don't know, they've given it a, another name that we do not even understand, but we know the place is called Oloirien, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it, it, we need such issues to be resolved and be resolved amicably, but the, uh, the rights of communities be considered and be protected, Madam Speaker. Thank you, uh, Senator Kajuang, for bringing this um, uh, bill. Thank you very much. Um, Senator Julius Murgor. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to also um, add my thoughts to those of my colleagues. Uh, 